We are going to warp across, rather than running back through the forest. Because although it is still very pretty, and full of herpaderp wildlife, it's not scaled in this section, apart from an obvious exception coming up. Everything is still assuming we're part of a three-man party. And even when we're a higher level than the wildlife, it's still not ideal because everything is set up with a three-person team dynamic in mind. I did, um, I had to cut a section of me just being repeatedly murdered by some owls trying to get down here until it finally occurred to me to go right instead of left at one point. I think you can just see them over the edge. They messed me up quite a lot. I hope you've noticed I put in the effort to gather gear up and try and dress like the natives. Or as native as we can be, because the natives are actually nopon. And the nopon are all naked, mostly. I think I've seen the occasional waistcoat. I am going to kill a couple of bugs, I don't know why. This next section is another one that I found extraordinarily difficult on my first playthrough. And I think it was part due to... We have another new mechanic coming up. Another layer to certain parts of the gameplay. It's, it's mostly something pertaining to boss fights. But will occasionally see use in normal fights as well. And I think a combination of still not being completely au fait with everything I was supposed to be doing already, coupled oh, no. gonna stop me. with, you know when you kind of read something and your brain goes, I have seen some words, but at no point have you actually read the words or taken in what they meant. I did that, I think, and it, it took me quite a while to uh, get to grips with it. Much like the shield function that we got early on in that spider fight. Huh. That is actually one thing I think Xenoblade could have done a bit better, is we do have these magnificent skills and so on. But a couple of them, they make a lot of effort to point them out, and there are several occasions where you have to use them. But they're not completely integrated into the rest of the gameplay. Like I remember the first time through, there were some future fights where you really need to use the shield function. But because I hadn't had to use it for so many hours leading up to it, I'd completely forgotten about it. Who are you? Hello there. Uh, uh, hello. How unusual. It is quite rare to see a Homs in this region. I... <laughs> I suppose you're wondering why I am here in that case. Then permit me to introduce myself. My name is Alvis. Alvis? Um, my name's... It's Shulk. Isn't it? Uh, how did you know that? Wielder of the Monado, defender of Colony 9, the hero that has every mech on running. You're famous amongst all Homs. I know you from somewhere.
They're here. Huh? The Monado emits a particular ether wavelength in its ground state. It must have drawn them. Huh? Oh! I'll deal with this myself. From the left. Then I'll go. Suggest you stop staring. The sword is yours to wield. What was that light? The Monado does not control itself. You control it. I control it. By the light of the Monado. I will stop them. So, new skill, as I said, and also a new friend to dance around with. We've seen him very briefly in cutscenes before, but now we know his name. And he knows how to use the Monado better than we do. But it's a good thing, because fighting Telethia is an absolute pain in the arse if you don't get to grips with it quite quickly. As Alvis, our new friend, said, they know what we're going to do. They have the ability to see immediately into the future and, you know, at will. Unlike us, who seems to just randomly have visions and, you know, don't always have them as soon as we'd want to. But he has shown us the Monado has a way of dealing with this, and this takes the form of a new skill called Purge. I did mention auras briefly in the last update. We're not the only ones who have them. Bad guys do, just the same as everything else. With Telethia, their ability to see the future is treated in battle as an aura, and the Purge skill dispels or suppresses any aura the enemy have. It works more than just on the, uh, the Telethia's own aura, but this is its most important purpose, because while the Telethia have the aura up, they are pretty much impossible to hit. With normal hits, with skills, anything, you just hit air, and as we've seen previously, if we're not hitting things, tension goes down. If your tension goes down and everyone starts feeling sad, uh, you start to hit even less, you get hit even more. And with Shulk, access to his Monado skills is built up by hitting. So it kind of... Fighting Telethi, you can end up in a kind of 
annoying loop, incredibly annoying sometimes, where because you can't hit them, you can't get the Monado skill up. Because you can't get the Monado skill up, you can't purge their thing and you can't hit them. Ah! Alright, time for a chain attack! Almost, let's do this! Take this! Alvis, over to you! Understood. Lost Ray! Quilla! Well, you see now, Shulk? Hmm. Thank you. Hey! Wait a second. More importantly, where on Bionis did you learn to use the Monado? <laughs> they were not the primary Telethia. Merely at spawn. The primary Telethia dwells elsewhere in Magna Forest. Is it... wounded? I see. The Telethia is hurt and lies in rest, wounded by a girl. A girl? The Monado is a divine sword capable of disturbing the very fabric of existence, of both the material and the immaterial. Alvis. How do you know so much about the Monado? Who are you? Shulk! Shulk! Huh? That's Ryan. I'm over here! Shulk! We looked all over for you. Thought you'd been eaten by the forest. Sorry, Ryan. I got attacked by Telethia. If it hadn't been for Alvis, I wouldn't have survived. Alvis? Who's that? I'll introduce you. He's the one that... Alvis? But he was... Uh, there's no one here. I'm telling you, he was right here. He even taught me how to unlock a new power from the Monado. Just you and me, Shulk. Ain't no one else around. You probably passed out from dehydration and dreamt this guy up. Come on. Wait till the others hear this. <laughs> He was here, Ryan. I didn't dream it. I'm not lying. Okay, okay. I believe you. And while you were having fun with your imaginary friend, did you find any ether crystals? Yes. Good quality ones, too. Perfect. Come on. We should hurry them back to Sharla. Hang around here long enough and we'll get whacked by an imaginary beast. <laughs> I'm not lying. Alvis, who are you? An enemy that renders your visions useless. This forest holds many surprises. Not least creatures we've never seen before. And now we know there is another who can use the Monado. Yeah. Uh, I can't wait to meet him. So you weren't just having a sneaky nap then? No! I'm just saying. You and Dunban are the only ones I know that can wield the Monado. How would this guy know how? Okay, locked and loaded. Everyone, stand back. Wow. Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, she's coming round. All thanks to our medic. Are you okay? Where am I? Everything's fine. You're gonna be... <gasps> Get your hands off me! Ah! Hey, watch it! F forgive me. 
I... I did not mean to... Ah, uh, sorry if we surprised you. Are you the ones who helped me? Well, something like that. Excuse me. My name is Melia. Forgive my indiscretion. I have not had the pleasure of coming into contact with the male Homs. Coming into contact? Hey, Shulk. You're creeping this lady out. Mm. Shut up, Ryan. This large one is far worse. Me? <laughs> <laughs> Melia, is it? How did you get here then? What, is there no one with you? I must apologize, but my situation does not concern you. And I shall not be divulging anything to common passers by. Duly noted, Your Ladyship. But if I were to be so bold, I'm guessing that you didn't come here alone. And you weren't just taking an afternoon nap. <laughs> and what, may I ask, are you doing here? It is rare to see Homs venture this deep into Machna Forest. We're traveling to the head of the Bionis. We've got a long journey ahead of us. The head of the Bionis? We were just figuring out how to get there when we found you. I see. Then permit me to return the favor by aiding you in your quest. Really? There is only one path to the head of the Bionis. It is the path that leads to Erith Sea. So, this Erith Sea is at the head of the Bionis? If you would be kind enough to escort me out of the forest, I will show you the way. You... you do that? Thank you, Melia. I'm Shulk. Pleased to meet you. Shulk? Ah, yes. Likewise. <sighs> she's a bit high and mighty. But she's a Homs too, right? Why is she here alone? Ain't got a clue. Ask her yourself. I'm not good with her posh accent. We shall travel to the Nopon village. Nopon village? That's where we've been heading. We reckon it's our best chance of making it to the top. Since inhabiting the region, the Nopon have been a great help. You can travel to Erith Sea from their village. It's settled. We'll make our way to the Nopon village. Very well. The Nopon inhabit a giant tree. If we follow this trail, we will be safe. <laughs> 